G'day guys, um, if you go about 3 minutes 40 into this video, you'll get to where we're prospecting. Uh, prior to that, it's just about the treasure hunt. So, yeah, just a little intro to the video. Saves you three and a half minutes if you don't want to listen what happened. Alright, off to the video. G'day guys, um, I thought I'd just touch on the treasure hunt and what's happened and what's gone on. Um, I was actually meant to make this video last week, but I'll explain what's happened. So in previous video I did um, some filming where I'm driving along this Ozak Road and as a bit of a clue, the pin is right here. This is the modern day bridge and just off to the right is another bridge called Burke's Bridge, which is a wooden bridge. Um, the treasure was hidden there and I made the video where I showed where I hid the treasure. And this was only, I only went back after someone's found the location of the pit. So after showing that video, I moved the uh, gold and the rock, because the rock was a big clue into finding where the little jar of gold was. And said pretty much the only thing that's significant is you've got to look up. And the pin location. So I'd cut a long story short. I stood at the pin location and I looked for something that I could visibly see from that location. And there was a tree there with some branches with a fork. And what I did last time I had the rock on the ground gold above. This time what I did is I had the actual rock placed in a tree and the gold was underneath, not really buried but just covered with um, some bark from those trees. I was meant to get there last weekend and I didn't and the reason I didn't um, is my mother passed away in the early hours of Sunday morning um, and just wasn't up really to make a video and that's it and later that afternoon I was actually meant to go prospecting that morning I didn't um, I'm actually going out this weekend for a few hours with the guy that I was meant to catch up with last week. Later that afternoon what I did do was um, just drive past and see if the gold and the rock and everything was there and it was all still in place. Um, and that's it. So at the start of this video, what you'll see is me just saying, look, if you want to look at the prospect, if you don't really care about the treasure hunt or whatever else, go to this point. I'll leave it there and I um, hope to be on the creek soon. Alright, so I made it down to the creek. Just got a little six inch set up here. Having a crack in here on this bedrock. Seems to be going down super deep, just in that spot there. And that's over here, um, just trying, he was trying over this side here, tried there, got a few specks. Moved over to this side, which is sort of behind this shelf. This widens out this part of the creek just here. Um, and we'll see how we go. There's no guarantees. I'm not sure if that's a bit of gold. <laughs> Is it really already? I don't know. Could be a yellow rock, and I'm talking about the ones just here. If that's a flake of gold, it's in a strange sort of a place to be held, but it could be. I'm not saying anything that's going to be hard to pick anything up, but you can see there's some heavies. 
Um, yeah, I'll shovel for a bit, do some bait pumps. That, oh, I hope that's a bit of gold. Just there. But I think they're just yellow rocks, getting me hopes up. All right, back shortly. So, I dug 10 shovels max out of there. I bait pumped one pan and thought, let's just have a look and see. I was, as I said, I was showing you stuff before. Um, so and that looks like gold, that looks like gold. Well, that's definitely gold. That's definitely gold. That's definitely gold. That's possibly gold. That definitely gold. <laughs> and I reckon that might be a bit of gold just there as well. So let's see. Let's see what happens. So Clean the river sluice out, reset it up, and there's the gold from that first run. So, nothing too spectacular, but look, there's some nice little bits there. We will um, try, might just try here. Um, it seems to be, just where I've got my bag and all that stuff, a little bit of a gravel bar, so I'll just try in here. So I dug there, got gold, obviously just here. Try over here in this gravel bar, we'll see what happens. There might be something, there might be nothing. But when I first come down here I did mention that this gravel bar was looking good as a drop off area. Um, But, yeah, we'll see what happens, and then it goes deep, so, let's see what happens. Okay, so, I did say I was going to try here, and that's about all I did, about two quarter shovels. I went, I've got gold there, why am I going? Why am I... Why? Why move? So, probably, these aren't big shovels, just trust me. Um, Ten or fifteen of them. And probably half a pan of bait pumping. Not bad at all. A couple of bits of lead, some more gold there as well, but pretty happy with that now. It's um, starting to build. So we'll do another run and see uh, how we go. Alright, so almost just a pan full of gravels that I've run through. Um, just bait pump in a pan, put them through the river sluice and yeah, so a few more little bits. Not too bad. Ah, uh, we'll keep going. Alright guys, uh, next pan of gravels. Still getting colour. I'm going to um, move and uh, have a look at a spot uh, we've seen when we first come in and see what's going on there. Alright guys, um, just to finish this video off, uh, didn't do any more filming um, for today. Just went and looked around a little bit more than anything. Um, I am planning to do a meetup um, at some stage. Maybe towards the end of this month, we'll keep your eyes peeled for a video that I'll put out um, explaining what the plan sort of is. I'm still not sure if I'm going to go to a location somewhere near the Golden Triangle or um, do something local, so somewhere like a Warren Dyed Pan and Hill, um, Eltham, have a bit of a look around those Smith's Gully or maybe look around all those areas a little bit, do a bit of an adventure. Um, and I will do a treasure hunt again, but it's going to be a lot easier. It's just going to be a pin, there's going to be clues in one video, you don't have to watch 10 million videos. 
and it'll be like a geocache, you could almost say. So if you've ever done that sort of stuff, there's a pin to a location, there's a bunch of clues, and first one there wins. Um, and they'll relate to each video that I'll put out. So as I'm travelling all around Victoria, um, there'll be a pin drop in that video with some clues, maybe even a shot of where it is or something like that, depends how I feel. And it'll be left, and if it gets found, it gets found. If it doesn't, um, well, I'll eventually go back and have a look and see. All right, until the next time, I will um, catch us all later. And thanks, everyone, who sticks by me and uh, watches this stuff. And, um, yeah, till the next time, see you later.